Hey guys, how you doing? I want to show you the coolest thing I just got. Um, got it a couple weeks ago, and it's pretty awesome. This thing is called the Pizza Q. Pizza Q. I'll zoom in on the dial. Pizza Q. This thing is friggin' awesome. All right. So let me show you what I got here. This little thing is like a barbecue. Works off of gas. And I have an optional leg kit for it and um, some optional accessories. You don't have to get all that stuff, but I like it. It's really cool. Has the, uh, it comes with little legs, right? But I got the big legs. The little legs are great if you're like um, tailgating, things like that. But what's really cool is you're able to hook this thing up to a barbecue tank, a propane tank. And what it is, is a little pizza oven. Now, it comes with two stones. You have to put one on top of the other. And um, I'll give you a little taste of what that looks like. But before I do that, I got myself a pizza peel. Right? And it hooks on to the thing on the bottom. There's an optional door that you can put on the front. Uh, you don't really need this, but it makes it that it cooks a little bit more even. So I got that too, because you know, I need the whole set. And I also got a cover so that you can protect it in the rain. But let's take a look at the inside of this thing. The top comes off like that and you can see that I have a stone. Now the stone is actually two stones, one on top of the other and what that does is distribute the heat evenly. Now the secret to that really great crispy crust on the bottom of uh, New York style pizzas is the stone. All right. Um, underneath all of that is a burner that will heat up everything. A propane circular burner. All right. So basically, I have some pizza dough that's warming up. It's coming to room temperature. And I'm going to make a couple of pizzas on this thing. And it's going to be awesome. All right. Uh, one of the things you have to do, um, you might see other people making these pizzas, or you might have this already. I'm going to give you a tip. All right, if you think that your pizzas get too burned on the bottom, all right, because the stone gets too hot, this thing, this screen, is my secret to make it come out perfect. And I'll show you how to do that, um, how to use that, this in conjunction with that. And I'll also put the links for all of this stuff at the bottom of this video, so you know, you're able to easily find it, okay? So check it out. I'm going to show you guys this thing in action, and it's really cool. All right, so let me get my pizzas ready, and we'll pop them in. But the first thing I want to do, um, before I even turn this on, it only takes about five minutes to heat up. First thing I want to do is I want to take some of my chopped tomatoes and drain them and get all of my preparations ready for when I make my pizza because it's important, I think, to have all your stuff ready to go because if the pizza's waiting too long for you to put stuff on top of it, it um, it's not as good as you blast it all out, you put it on the pan, you're ready to build it real quick and put it in right away. So I'm gonna get all that stuff going and um, get my pizza doughs up to room temperature and I'll be back. All right, so I'm ready to rock and roll. And what I got to do to turn this thing on first is hit the gas. Turn that on. All right. And when I put this on to high, you'll hear a click. And it'll burst into flame. It'll automatically ignite. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that heat up on high. It's only going to take a few minutes. 
And while that's heating up, I'm gonna put this little shield in the front. And what that's gonna do is help it to contain the heat. This is totally not needed. I've even seen a dude put aluminum foil around it, but I like to have it because it's nice. Stainless steel. So I'm gonna let that heat up. I'm gonna make my pizza in the other room and I'll be right back to put it in. Hi folks, this is my pizza that I just made. It is a uh, artichoke pizza, an artichoke with uh, margarita. And we are up to around 700 degrees. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower the heat to medium. Take off my trusty pizza paddle. I made that on the screen. Transfer that in. Look how easy that was to transfer that in because I used a screen. Okay. Now what I'm going to try to do is zoom in on the pizza cooking. I have to lower this a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that cook on there for most of the way. And after that cooks to most of the way, I'm going to transfer it off of, the, off of that uh, little grate and put it on, a, uh, on the stone directly. But I'm first going to let it cook like that. And what I'm going to also do is I'm going to put this... Well, I would normally put this back on and let it cook like that, but this way you can't see it, right? So take that off, and because I have that off, if you guys don't have the the cover, okay. So what you would do is just um, flip it around a couple times. So I'm gonna let that go. Now here's about where I would start to take it off. You see that? Well, I'd start to take it off the... And that's the first pizza, the artichoke one. And then I'm going to do another pizza that without artichoke. Looks really great, huh? Alright, next one's coming up. Alright, and that's pizza margarita number two. Put that sucker in. This is what it looks like so far. And now I'm going to take it off this grate and put it directly on the stone.
and it, so that's all you need. It's just an extra minute or so on the stone directly. All right, cool. So that's the piece of Q. And um, I'm going to put the links for everything, everything that you saw here on the bottom. And uh, that's it. Look at my pizza. Isn't that beautiful? It's a work of art. All right. I'm going to shut that off. And I'm going to be inside eating pizza. See? Nice and crispy. A little toasty, but not burnt. I don't know if you can see underneath the pizza. Not burnt. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching.